be careful, silver stacking nightmare ahead. Silver fluctuates in price, it remains stagnant for long stretches, and it skyrockets up only to correct itself. In this video, I will break down the silver stacking nightmare. This is from an article in Coin World. The heading is Texas Postal Employee Sentenced. Sounds simple enough. Somebody did something in Texas and they're sentenced. The United States Department of Justice announced the sentencing of a Texas postal employee who pleaded guilty to charges of theft of mail by a postal employee. This story just shakes me to the core when I think about how much bullion we all purchase, silver and gold, how much we purchase online. Check this out. Uh, Pamela Jo Rosa, uh, Rosas of Beaumont received a sentence of 37 months in federal prison. That's it's almost three years from U.S. District Justice on March 4th, 2024. According to information presented in court, postal inspectors in April of 2020, it's about four years ago, began receiving complaints that a series of parcels containing valuable coins were missing after being placed in the post office for delivery. Federal agents conducted surveillance and identified a postal employee, Pamela, as a subject involved in the theft after viewing her handling packages in a suspicious manner. Pamela was also found in possession of several pieces of stolen mail packages after leaving work. She admitted to stealing many items from the post office during the previous three to four years. She'd been doing this for three to four years. Agents were able to recover hundreds of valuable coins from her apartment, along with other items she had stolen from the mail during the course of her employment. Prior to the sentencing, Pamela was permitted to the opportunity to retire from the post office. This is the strange part. She was caught. She was deliberately pulling packages that looked like they were bullion, silver or gold coins from the bins at her workplace, the post office. And she was caught. She was given a sentence. And before she was sentenced, she was allowed to retire. That means that she, every, every postal worker looks forward to that pension, right? So she's still getting her pension. Let, let's keep going. Uh, during the sentencing, Judge Crone was taken aback by the action. I'm also concerned that she, this woman Pamela, is receiving her pension from the post office, he said. The taxpayers probably really don't want to pay that, of course. Retirement seems a little generous for someone who's been stealing from the post office for years. Yeah, stealing the gold and silver that people have been ordering online. In a post in a post sentencing statement, uh, Assistant U.S. Attorney Russell James commented, I think the thing that stings the most about this case is that you have a public servant, somebody who's entrusted with mail for people of personal matters, business, businesses in this case. And, you know, some of the other stuff we couldn't really value. And that public servant kind of took advantage of the system, he says, and stole items that were entrusted to her on the part of official duties. Now, in addition to the imprisonment, she, she has been ordered to serve, right, three years. And also, she's supposed to pay a $180,000 fine. 180000 So maybe they, that could be pulled from her pension. I'm just, that's my own opinion. Uh, the judge recommended to the Bureau of Prisons that the defendant receive an appropriate mental health treatment. Yes, mental health, because she's been stealing for four years. Now, the one of the main uh, businesses that that would, that these uh, gold and silver coins and bullion uh, were being ripped off from was a local business. It says Universal Coin and Bullion is based in Beaumont. And they were one of the victims of the theft. The owner said, this is like a local coin shop that was sending, kind of like when we watch Yankee stacking, imagine Tim, you see him packing up those boxes all the time. The packages are not being delivered because the postal worker is stealing it. I hope that the, whoever delivers Tim's mail does not watch this video. Don't get any ideas. So uh, the owner of this shop says, we experienced more than, get this, $400,000 in lost or stolen coin shipments over the course of a year. In one year, $400,000. They were sending things out. They were just were not getting delivered. That is a lot. When challenged, local post office representatives repeatedly assured us the packages were uh, being stolen after they left their distribution facility, meaning like they go to the doorstep and somebody's taking it from people's doorsteps. That's what the post office was saying. And this local coin shop 
owner is like, no, this is not making sense. However, the thefts were happening at the local point post office. Uh, had it not been for Numis, for N NGC, right, Numismatic Guarantee Company, NGC, former Texas police chief Doug Davis, founder of the uh, Numismatic Crime Information Center. Now, that would be a great person to interview. Uh, the, the Numismatic Crime Information Center. That's really cool. Uh, he, he dedicate, his dedicated investigation showed that, yes, in, in fact, this woman, Pamela, was stealing. And I, I think the thing that really shocks me and, and shows that this is such a nightmare is like, okay, if you're, if you're ordering like one of these, this is just a, that's a proof eagle, right? You get those for like $50, you know, on the low end, 50 bucks. Just, it's like not that much of a premium, but something like this, like I, I waited to pull the trigger on this. So cool for a long time. This is like $150, I think. I mean, this is really expensive. And, you know, yeah, it's one ounce of silver, but the premium is large because there weren't many minted, right? It's like from the Royal Mint, I think I got it, or, or East, East, East India Company or something. If I ordered this and someone stole it from the mail, a, a postal worker, it's, it's just so frustrating. Let's keep going. Uh, it was a local purchase that led to the unraveling of the case. A customer made the purchase of an 1845D Liberty Head, a $5 half eagle, and checked the NGC database. This is kind of cool how she got caught. This person ordered it, checked the NGC database after the purchase. The coin was valued at $14,000, and it was listed as stolen. The business had purchased the coin from Christopher Rosas. This is this woman Pamela's son, right? This is her son. Her son was in on it also. He was he was taking the coins that she would steal from the mail, and he would then sell them to other coin shops, the stolen coins. So somebody went to one of these coin shops, bought an 1845D gold, you know, $5 half eagle, and then looked up on the on the database online just to check, and it showed that this fourteen thousand dollar coin that they just purchased was actually listed as stolen, and that's like that's the ring that they had going. The mother worked at the post office; she would steal the packages. The son would take those, the the bullion, the gold, the silver, and then drive around and sell it to other coin shops. Crazy, and yes, I think the word nightmare is really fitting when we look at this. Uh, investigators turned their attention to Pamela, and packages containing tracking devices were found in her possession. Uh, a search of her home found numerous stolen items. Criminal proceedings began on November uh, 2022 with a one-count indictment against Pamela. This goes on in the details. Now, I know a little more of this story because I, I heard about this already before I saw this article today. And uh, the way that she was caught is that the son, I think he was pulled over, by police, just a regular routine. You know, he was driving, he was pulled over. They searched his car and they found all these mail packages that were not addressed to him in his back, the back of his car. And that's how they put it all together. They're like, why is this guy having all these packages? Clearly he's stealing them. Uh, I guess, I don't know if he turned his mother in or what, but they sniffed into it and found out, wait, your mother works for the local post office? And you have access to all these packages that are filled with gold and silver. Can you believe this? This is an actual story that happened. I mean, if, if I saw this in a movie, I would kind of roll my eyes. <laughs> right? I, I really think, come on. I mean, really? You, you really think this is going to happen? This actually happened. And uh, this you should check out. Uh, this is this month's Coin World because it has a, an entire article. Right? I, I'm not reading the whole article to you. I'm just giving you the highlights. But... That really, I think the word nightmare is actually perfect.